Hello everyone, this is Supreeta from Informatica and in this video I'm going to describe how to create a resource using resource configuration file from the MMUI itself. So the agenda is I'll be just giving you an overview of what exactly an MMCMD command is, steps to create RCF file and then we'll go ahead with the demo. So metadata manager command line programs, it has a couple of utilities which you can use to load and manage your resources, back up and restore your repository. And particularly there's one or uh, two sets of uh, utilities, RMU and RCFMU, which you can use to migrate resources and create resource configuration files that could help in migrating your resource from one environment of metadata manager to another and these programs can be run from any machine where your informatica is installed so mcmd in earlier versions you had to use you or rather you have to use mcmd command line utility to create a resource uh, using an rcf file resource configuration file and the main disadvantage of this is only people who has access to where your MMCMD command line utility is installed, only they can use this utility. And mostly the MMCMD command line utility is installed where your Informatica server is installed and not many people have been given, uh, they are given privileges for this. So starting 951 hotfix one, RCF files, they can be created from the MM web application itself. So any user can actually create RCF files, provided they have, they have the right privileges provided to them from the Informatica Administrator console. So let's go ahead and start with the demo. So I have here a metadata manager uh, service running and an MMUI which is running in one of the environments. And I want this particular resource Cognos test this i want to create similar resource in another environment so one way could be just to you know look into the configuration properties linking and the connection assignment everything and then try to replicate it in a different environment by manually entering the details the other thing could be to actually create a resource configuration file and hand that resource configuration file to my new metadata manager service environment and that resource configuration file would help me in creating a resource a new resource so the step is sim simple from the mmui you just need to select the resource which you want to create for which you want to create a resource configuration file so for me here cognos test is is a new resource and I'm, I simply have to export the resource configuration file. Since I do not have any rule set and parameters, so I'll not import export that. And you will see that it's just automatically it saves my uh, file. You can save this file, resource configuration file, which you can use it for your migration purpose. So I have another environment and as you see that I want to configure this resource. So I'll just go and import my resource configuration file which I had downloaded. So by default this RCF file is downloaded in the download section. So I'll just import this. And you'll see that within a few minutes the, imp the import is complete. You just refresh it and you'll see that it's, it's complete. And if you want to uh, have a look at the test connection, see if you know your configuration is fine, then just do a test connection to see if, if it's working fine. So as you can see, the test, is connection, test connection is successful. So I've migrated the resource configuration file correctly and I've created new resource so you can go ahead and just start with the load. So I've started with the load. I'll also show you how exactly, what exactly the configuration file looks like. So I have here with me, I have the resource config configuration file for 
this particular resource which I had exported in the and this is in the RCF format and if you see the name of the Cognos resource is Cognos test so in another environment if you want to change the name of the resource you can just modify the name as per your liking and then save this RCF file and then import it so that won't be a problem so in short this is how RCF files this is the shortest way of actually creating your resources in a different environment in case you just want to create one similar resource in another environment and not just migrate all your resources so in case if you want to migrate all your resources the best thing could be probably to just create a backup of your mm warehouse so uh, creating rcf is is actually from the mm ui is is a very fast alternative that you can actually consider so all right uh, so you can always have a look at the metadata manager admin guide to look into any kind of uh, configurations that you want to look up that's that's a very good uh, handy thing handy book that you can actually you could actually uh, look into for any kind of help that you want also we would like to hear back from you so you could send out your feedback to any of the following uh, email id or or at the twitter feed handle and all right thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it thanks